Welcome to Fabulous Chef. So in today's video, let's see how to make a very tasty prawns perital recipe. This is basically a Sri Lankan style recipe. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Do subscribe and support our channel. So let's get started and let's see the ingredients for this delicious prawn perital. Today I have taken about 1 kg of prawns which is deveined and washed. We need about 1 teaspoon of stone flour. 2 large onions which is finely chopped 10 garlic cloves which is crushed 2 green chilies which is slit 3 tomatoes which is finely chopped We also need a few curry leaves And for the spices We need about 2 pieces of cinnamon sticks 6 cardamom We need about half a coconut which is grated. We need to extract about 1 cup of thick coconut milk from the coconut. We need about 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of urad dal, half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds. So now you can see that all the ingredients for our recipe is ready. So let's get started and start making the prawn perital. For the delicious prawns parental is ready let's get started and let's see how to make this recipe okay. let's take a non-stick pan a non-stick pan is preferable for this recipe let's add about three tablespoon of coconut oil when the oil is nice and hot let's add the cinnamon sticks Now let's add the cardamom, now let's add the fennel seeds, now in goes the mustard and the urad dal, now let's add the fenugreek seeds. And finally the stone flour. Now stir fry it for another 2 minutes till all the aroma of the spices is well released in the oil. Now at this stage let's add the chopped onions. Today I am adding about 2 large onions which is finely chopped. Now let's add the crushed garlic cloves. Now let's add the green chilies and the curry leaves. You can alter the green chilies according to your taste. Now stir fry all the ingredients till the onions are nice and golden brown. Now you can see that the onions are nice and golden brown. At this stage, let's add the chopped tomatoes. Today I've added about 3 large tomatoes which is finely chopped. Now stir fry them till the tomatoes are nice and soft and mushy. Along with the tomatoes, let's add about 1 teaspoon of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of salt. Now stir fry all the ingredients till the tomatoes are nice and mushy and soft. Now you can see that the tomatoes are cooked well, it's nice and soft and mushy. At this stage, let's add the washed prawns. Now 
Always remember to wash the prawns with some salt and turmeric. This helps to remove the toxins and also removes any unwanted smell. Now let's give it a quick mix. Prawns usually cooks very fast. In about 3 to 5 minutes you can see that the prawns is well cooked and nice. Now let's close the pan with the lid. Let's check the prawns now. You can see that all the water has come out of the prawns. And the prawns is cooked well. It's nice and curled now. You can see so much of water has come out of the prawns. At this stage let's add about 1 cup of coconut milk. We need about 1 cup of thick coconut milk. This gives a nice creamy texture to the gravy. After adding the coconut milk, check the spices. You can add a little salt or chilli powder if necessary. If you want a gravy texture, you can switch off the flame after a quick boil and serve it as a gravy. This gravy goes very well with rice, chapati or even bread. But since we are making a prawn paratel, we need to allow all the gravy to dry well. You can see that the gravy is well absorbed by the prawns. So for the final garnish, let's add about 1 tablespoon of coconut oil and some freshly chopped coriander leaves. When all the gravy is nicely absorbed by the prawns, we can switch off the flame and serve it hot. That's it friends, our delicious prawn paratel is absolutely ready. So that's it friends, our delicious prawns paratel is ready. It has come out very well, it's really yummy and tasty. So do try this recipe at home and let me know your comments. If you like this video, like, subscribe to my channel and keep watching Fabulous Chef. See you all soon with another interesting recipe.